welcome to Brookmount Street, home of the latest edition of the White Rock Football Mural. Thanks to everybody that's shown up today in this cold weather. It's much appreciated. I just want to talk a bit about the mural before I pass it on to be dedicated and unveiled. A lot of time and effort went into creating this mural. It wasn't just about putting a band's name onto the wall and displaying our badge. It was much more about creating a tapestry which tells a story about the band from its early beginnings in 1962 until the present day. We even ensured that we captured the transition from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth to His Majesty King Charles by denoting the cipher of His Majesty the King on top of the mural, but not forgetting the memory of Her Majesty by explaining her picture and the moment the band remembered her passing. As well as that, our mural captures the day-to-day -day of our band, the happy times, the good times. I think you'll see them in many of the photos that are captured on the wall. As well as that, we took the, the time and effort to appreciate our dedicated members. You will see many awards being given for exemplary service, some 15 years, 30 years, 25, and so on. We are very, very proud to be unveiling this mural today. A lot of time and work has been done to creating what we have here. Just one thing to finish is the slogan. You can all see the bright slogan that painted or is pictured on the wall. Embrace the past, ignite tradition, and inspire the future. Those to me sum up our band. We embrace the past every day. We never forget our history. We never forget our past members. Every past member is named on that wall. Ignite tradition, in my opinion, probably a biased opinion. No band ignites tradition like the White Rockford Band, whether it be through our traditional style of play, our traditional uniforms, the Balmoral hat, or indeed the antique instruments that we carry today. And obviously, we want to inspire the future. We want the story to continue on for many generations to come. We want young people, tourists, come and look at this mural and understand our story, our history, and want us I wanted to continue on for a long time. And you will find on the mural a QR code, which is very up to date, where you can scan that with your mobile phone, and you will be brought to a place where you can find all our latest videos, our online music, and it will bring, hopefully, for tourists and everyone else, this mural to life. So thank you again for turning out today. I'm just going to hand over to uh, Reverend Billy Malcolmson, who is going to say a short prayer and scripture reading. And then the band will play a bite with me and we'll, we'll move on to the envelope. Thank you. On this tremendous occasion, an important occasion, especially for White Rock Band, but for the wider public that you support, this is an historic occasion. And let us worship God in prayer, every one of us. As true and faithful Protestants, Heavenly Father, bless this service today this important occasion, the lives of every one of us in these dark days, and for all of us collectively as a Protestant people. Our help indeed is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth, who taught us our Lord Jesus Christ, 
to pray and to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And will play the light William, we would love you to do the honour of unveiling the, the mural for us, but I don't know if you have a few words to share just beforehand. Thanks very much. And can I thank the band very much for the honour and privilege to be here today to unveil this mural. I, I worked with them with Councillor Nomi Thompson. I we were both in the council years ago to get the original mural at the year, and now we have this one replacing it. Uh, and I, I just want to pay tribute to the bar, but in particular to Robert Hillis for all the work that he did to ensure today became uh, a reality. Uh, this is very much a community uh, adventure in that the band reached out and we have Cub Scouts here with the District Commission and their leader William Mills from the 50th Cub Pack in Glencairn. William is a very keen band on himself. And also we've got the principal, Mr. Osborne and Mrs. Andrews, the teacher from Springfield Primary School and pupils from P4. Both of them work with the band in terms of, you'll see the art here when you take time to have a look at it at the end. So I want to thank, and I know Mrs. Andrews is in a band as well, so I'm uh, grateful for them to be here on a Saturday afternoon to say very much that the community venture. Um, you know, this band is a band formed in 62 that is um, synonymous with the Shanker Road, and of course they're now walking back in the Shanker Road in the 12th of July and Red Rock with my own lodge, uh, LOL 839. And I'm delighted today, if I might just say something on behalf of our lodge, delighted today to see Richard Coulter, our treasurer, who's been very, very ill since the 12th, and he's out creating us today. It's good to see you here, Richard. Um, but it, we're delighted to be here because this is a true example of the rich culture that is our orange tradition. And this band's unique in terms of the hat that they wear, uh, the plume, the drum, uh, and, and, but also the playing style. And my sister always says the White Rock dances up the Lisburn Road on, on the, the 12th, 12th of July. And I think when you look at the front row, that certainly is the case. We're very proud as a community from this road of the White Rock. We have many fantastic bands on this road. We're particularly proud of the White Rock because as this mural says, embrace the past. This band is a very rich past. Uh, in, in terms of working with the loyal orders and all of the three loyal orders are represented here today. Uh, a past 
but also moving, as we can see, to ignite the traditions and build on the traditions to inspire the future that we have. And it's therefore really important that they work with, as they've done, work with the young people in our community. Uh, this band isn't just a band that's known throughout Northern Ireland. Uh, of course, they've for years created on the mainland as well, having traveled many times over, I think annually, to Glasgow to walk in the big walk in Glasgow. And I've been there a few times, spoken there and seen the band taking part. And also, of course, in Liverpool as well, uh, to create with the Apprentice Boys in Liverpool. So a band that is known throughout the United Kingdom. And if you don't, if you don't believe me, let me tell you, whenever this sort of covered mural, the picture before it was obviously scaffolding removed, I put that on Facebook and there was 50,000 reaches in no time. And I think it went viral in Scotland, Robert tells me last night. So um, I know there's uh, a lunch to be had and entertainment to be enjoyed. So I won't hold you any longer. Just to say, this is a tremendously proud day for the Shankle, proudly proud day for us in West Belfast, uh, Orange Hall and the Orange and Black institutions in our hall. But it's a particularly proud day for White Rock Flute Band and the White Rock Flute Band family. Congratulations and well done, everybody. to the band and it's a great it's a great feature for the Shankill Road and a great reminder of our Protestant and Unionist principles. Remembering that as a people our help alone in these days stands in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And this we must not forget. We have been failed by many people. Promises have been made on political fronts. And many a time we have felt as a people deserted. But if we are true to our Protestant, Evangelical and Reformed faith, then our hope and trust is in the Lord and in the Lord Jesus Christ we will stand as a Protestant people invincible. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who hath visited and redeemed his people. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, I dedicate this beautiful, this beautiful mural in the name of the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to whom be glory and praise forevermore. This 
could possibly be. My last act as the chaplain of number nine district. I've been chaplain for 51 years and I've many happy members of the band. One trademark of White Rock Band stands out in my memory. That good old-fashioned bass drum. That's a great feature of the band. A traditional bass drum, not a plastic one. <laughs> so congratulations to the band and enjoy the day. Play the old orange fruit. Roll one. unveiled and just to finish proceedings off uh, we obviously have quite a number of thanks to give because as you can imagine putting a mural like this up isn't something that's straightforward so we have a couple of presentations to make first and then I'll just give a few words of thanks to, to certain people so I'd like to call William Humphrey again just to be presented with a, a certificate William has been instrumental to this process. Um, he has helped us in the background for uh, the months that it has taken to get us here. So thanks again, William. Um, I'd like to now thank um, two groups. The first one I'd call up is uh, Springfield Primary School. Um, we have a, a certificate to present. And just while they're coming up, um, Springfield Primary School, we received um, amazing support from the school and its children. Um, when we approached them about the My Image project and we wanted them to draw their pictures of their favourite image from the mural and you'll see those displayed on the mural and they're there to stay. So a massive congratulations to the children and the teachers. And the Thank you very much guys for coming out, we appreciate your help. Thank you. Thank you. Another um, youth group that, that we worked with was the 50th Scout Group, um, based at the bottom of the Glen Cairn. Um, we'd like to call a representative from that group um, to be presented with a certificate again for the hard work and support from the kids to produce some great pictures that have been now put onto the, the mural as well.
Um, so just a couple of other thanks that I want to go work through now. Um, that's our presentation is done for now. But um, obviously we want to say a massive thank you to the owner of the property, um, Robert Casement, who has enabled us to put the mural on, on the wall and has helped us with the permissions and everything else to get it to where it is today. So thank you to, to Robert for that. I would also like to thank, obviously, uh, the Reverend well, Dr. Malcolmson for his brilliant dedication today. And I hadn't appreciated how long you were chaplain, so congratulations and, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. <laughs> and I would also like to thank um, one of our own members, our secretary, uh, Robert Hillis. This project has been managed by Robert from the very start to the, today when he was dishing out these leaflets this morning. He, if anyone has worked with Rob, you'll know how um, pressurizing he can be um, and dedicated to a cause. So this would not have been possible without the time effort that, that Rob had put in. So I'd like to appreciate Rob and what he's done here. And just finally, there's a few um, that I would like to, to, to rattle through and, and thank um, that have had a part in this. So we'd like to thank the residents of the Bookmount Street, Dale Pankhurst, who is a past member of the band, Nick Laverner, who is a Belfast councillor, Bobby Foster of the Sice Group, um, the committee and brethren of the West Belfast Orange Hall, um, and obviously all our own members who have played a part in this, who have the, braved the cold and the wet over the last week to put it on the wall. They've done an absolute sterling job, so well done there. And lastly, I just want to thank everyone that has turned up today. We really appreciate your presence here. Um, and, you know, braving the cold weather to come out. And just the last thanks goes to all our own members, our families, um, and the Royal Orders for their support over the last 61 years. Thank you all. So if you could all be upstanding for the National Anthem, we'll finish with that, and then we'll have some um, refreshments in the Orange Hall afterwards. Thank you. See?